today I'm going to make a tree. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use this beautiful blue and I'm going to paint the sky. So remember, I'm holding it with my hands, allowing my wrist, this is my wrist, to move around. And I'm not taking the brush and going all the way in and down like that. Because then it goes everywhere. So what I can do if I do that by accident, I'm going to roll off <laughs> all that extra paint. And then I'm going to clean it with a paper towel because, again, you really don't want all of that paint there. Oh, so let's go ahead and stroke down. And now across. Nice. You see that? Great job. Down. And across. Awesome. So I'm going to keep painting. If you go to the edge and you get it on the table, you're just going to have to clean the table. <laughs> yeah. And so what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of extra thick paint and I'm thinning out my paint. Great. So here's my sky. And you're saying, where is the tree? <laughs> what happened to the tree? What happens when I mix yellow with the blue? Does anybody know? Yeah, I end up making green. All right, let's make some green. So what I can do right now, and I have less paint here, is I can really squish my brush. What am I doing right now? Squish, 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 squish. You hear it, don't you? Good job. I'm gonna clean it. <laughs> Because I don't want to get blue in my yellow, because then my yellow is going to turn green and I won't have any more yellow. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm not going to go past that. You see, I stopped. And I didn't get too much paint. I got a lot, but I didn't get too much paint. And then I'm going to stroke this way, and then I'm going to go stroke that way. Ooh, that's an X. Stroke, stroke. So I'm placing it down and moving it. Just take your time. You don't have to really make an X. Ah, look at that. What color am I making? Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty green, isn't it? Stroke. So I had enough yellow on my brush to keep going. I like my tree. Do you like your tree? Now that it's green, and if I dip in here, I'm going to ruin my yellow. So I'm going to squish, 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 squish. Do you hear that? Ooh, like, what color is the? Even the water is turning green. Look at that. I'm going to clean my brush. Really clean my brush. I'm going to dip in. I didn't go past that, and I'm going to stroke. Mm, it feels so good, doesn't it? You're really looking where you're painting and stroking it on. Nice. And I can go out a little bit. I can give it kind of some texture. You like that? Just a little bit. You really want to stroke with the brush. Beautiful. Wonderful. I think I'm done. So I'm going to clean my brush. Wonderful. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry it. And then put it down. Great job. Okay. When your painting is dry, you can take some uh, brown paint, perks like this. And it's going to be a long, what is this? A rectangle, right? And then you can see if you like it. And you can say, hmm, I want to cut it there and if you want to you can change the size make it thinner as it goes up this is going up and I can see if I like that you can make some branches if you want 
and they go thin to thick. And you take your glue stick, whoops, I popped it open. And if the paint's not wet, your paper won't get all dirty. You can put some glue on it, take your time, and then turn it and use your hand to smooth it out. And you can take one of these, put some glue on it, and you can put it, kind of looks like an arm, doesn't it? <laughs> And do the same thing here. Put it there. Yeah, I like it. Do you like it? Put some more glue on it. What I think I'm going to do next is just grab the paint one more time. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit of yellow. A little tiny bit, isn't that? And then I'm going to just soften some of the branches. Because sometimes the leaves go off a bit. Wonderful. And if you want to, you can do some yellow here for grass. Thanks so much for tuning in and liking my YouTube channel, Sophie Studio YouTube channel. Take care.